All right, game face on. Hey everybody, Francis Sky here from First Comics News, and today I thought I'd do an unboxing for you guys. Today I'm going to unbox the Diva Funko Pop. Uh, Diva, of course, from the game Overwatch from Blizzard, and they are coming up on their first anniversary, so I thought to coincide with that, I'll be doing this unboxing. And actually, I'll be also doing a piece with um, the SSWL Network with my friends over there. Uh, Mike Masters and I will be talking about the... Um, the, I guess the impact it's had on us or the uh, well, our thoughts and everything about, about the game. It's one of the first games that we've been like really, really, really like into the into the backstories, into the characters, into all the all the fandom in it. I mean, not to say that I didn't, you know, become a fanboy during WonderCon and take a picture of the most cosplays I saw of Overwatch, uh, which you can find over at the Massacre Twins on um, Instagram. Um, if you guys aren't following that, go follow that. It's my uh, comic comic that I've been working on with some, with two friends of mine, with uh, Josh Waldrop and Rachel Putnam. Uh, go check it out. Again, that is the Massacre Twins, uh, all one word at Insta on Instagram. Uh, do a lot of my post a lot of my um, post a lot of my Overwatch related items on there. Some plays of the game I get that kind of stuff. But anyway, back to the unboxing. <laughs> Sorry to a little draft off drift off a little. Uh, the unboxing is of course again of Diva. Uh, this uh, Funko Pop recently came out and was in seemed to be in high demand. Uh, it's really popular. Um, it's a little different from the Funko Pops most people will get. Um, so I do have also just to compare sizes. I do have the uh, Funko Pop for Tracer. So we're going to be using her as an example. So cheers, love. Um, so just to save a bunch of time and frustration and. A bunch of outtakes. I did already take it out. It's been out of the box. So um, just thought I'd show you guys what the box would look like. So there you go. It's a little bit big, as you can tell. And you see some of my posters in the back. There's a, yeah, if you're wondering, there's um, that Halloween thing. Yeah, that's signed by John Carpenter. <laughs> and there's an autograph picture of Stacey Keebler. Uh, yeah, you'll see that in the background. So you know, not something embarrassing like you see on those eBay pictures. Uh, but this is the Funko box. Um, Diva with Mecha. There's back with some other ones. There's also the Reinhardt in the same size. Um, along with, let's see, they have Lucio, May, Symmetra, and McCree. Um, so the actual one itself is right here. This is the the Mecha, which is mobile exo force of the Korean army. I'd say that, th well, we can say three times fast, but um, it's a little bit of a mouthful. The um, the window does open to reveal a little diva. So she will come out of her of her mech. If you want to see her, this she's about the this one is about one and three quarters inch tall. So we'll do a little size comparison in a moment. <laughs> I mean, you can tell. Again, this is the I'm gonna get a close up here. This is the diva mecha, as you can tell right there. Mobile exo force of the Korean army. Here in the back, you can see there is the Champion Esports fighting logos. Um, let's turn around this way. Oop, there you go. Thank you. Again, boop, boop. it does open and close, uh, so be careful. Uh, there is the Blizzard logo, amp.tv.kr for, of course, for Korea. So that's where she's from, one of the top gamers. Um, so let me compare sizes for you. So this is the Mecha. We want Diva inside, of course, same, still doesn't take much size, but this is comparing to my tr to the Tracer. Uh, the Tracer is um, about three, a little over three inches tall. Mecha is six, so as you can tell, it's about double the size, double the mass, of course, because we're dealing with a mech compared to a person. Um, so if you want to see <laughs> the comparison between Tracer and Diva for this, here you go. It's like a little, it's like a little baby Funko. So all you need is Dad76, put her in the carrier. Yep, for all you fans, you know what I'm talking about. Um, a lot of uh, fandom has come, a lot of uh, little stories have come up with people pairings of characters together, but there you go. There's D.Va, there's there's Tracer. Tracer's also one of my favorite characters, just her character itself. It's fun, different. Um, I like the optimism that she, that she has. Um, so once again, let me show you this while I'm talking. Um, it came, it retails at about... At, so it depends on where you go, probably about $25. Uh, did for me when I purchased it at uh, GameStop. Thank you to people at GameStop for hunting it down for me. <laughs> they called they called some stores and everything and got it for me. 
Um, coming up also, Blizzard will have the exclusive um, Carbon Fiber Diva uh, Funko Pop. That is going to be going retailing for $30 on the website. Um, cool thing is they're only limiting it to two per person, which will try to try to like, you know, get discouraged dealers or anyone like that who wants to take them all up and just sell them for like twice the price or that kind of thing. I really hate that. All I want is one and everyone else wants like 20 just to sell and make a profit. Um, you know, leave it for the fans, guys. You know, it's not cool. Um, but one thing I also wanted to show you, um, the diva, of course, um, one thing problem I have with some with my with this one is that it's a little for some reason I can't get it to stand up on its own. So I found a stand of my own, but it is another diva item. It is this little painting here. Uh was done by Val Hotchberg, who if you've you've watched um my my two, last two coverages of um last two pieces on WonderCon twenty sixteen and seventeen. I did I interviewed her with her um her comic mystery Babylon. You can find her at kick girl.com. Uh, she did a bunch of other uh, characters and different variants of the characters from Overwatch, these paintings. They actually came framed. She sells them for $25 at the conventions. Um, I believe she is at – she when we talked to her last, she was going to be at Phoenix Comic Con. I'm not sure if that happened yet. Um, but also she'll be at San Diego Comic Con in July. So go check it out. Say hello. Tell her tell her, tell her I sent you, I guess. <laughs> Our first comics news sent you. Um, you won't get a discount, but it's a cool thing just to say, you know, keep the the world small. Um, so go check that out once again. Let's show the two. Boom. Look at that. So again, uh, both run about the same, actually they run about the same price. So $25, uh, for your Diva, your Diva Funko Pop. And $25 for this awesome, uh, awesome art piece, which you can also help, and again, help support, uh, independent artists, which is an awesome thing to do. Help out the, just to help everybody out, you know, just to be cool. But, um, that is my unboxing for now. I'll again. I'll be coming up pretty soon with a um, with a with a retrospective analysis or whatever you want to call it of Overwatch one year later uh, with Mike Masters from the SSWL Network. We'll be talking about our experiences, some are some stories about playing the game, uh, what we like about it, all that good stuff. So once again, go check it out. Um, I am Francis Sky. This is Diva. This is Tracer. There she is. <laughs> this is Tracer. And this was First Comics News with a nice little unboxing. So hope to see you guys soon. Um, I will Again, I will see you guys soon, actually, after we do the p video piece for over for the Overwatch one. Actually, they're calling it Overwatchmen because it's two guys talking about Overwatch. Kind of clever, huh? <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for sticking around for this unboxing, and I will talk to you later. <laughs> Thanks for the love.